How about I read another book? That was fast. Which book do you want to read? That Dory book. The Dory book that's missing some of it? How about this one? The Dinosaur Who Lost His Roar. I, I don't. This is not. How old are you, Gray? Five. Five. <laughs> We're at Grayson's five-year-old checkup. See how big he is, huh? Reading books while we wait. Say hi, Porter. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Gray. Spencer's Aqua Park? Yes. Mmm. Good job walking on the rocks. Walking on rocks? Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys hungry? Yeah. You guys like pretzels? Pretzels. Mm-hmm. Ready them? Gray, where did we go today? The doctor. The doctor? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. What did what did the doctor do? Okay, you're healthy. You're to go to kindergarten. Uh huh. Yeah, they looked at your eyes. Yeah. And they listened to your heart. <laughs> and they saw how tall you were and how big you were. Yeah. Good afternoon, you guys. We are out here enjoying this super sunny, super hot summer day. It's like 85 degrees out, I think. And, and so the kids are playing out in the splash pad and I put some water in the pool. They've got their towels laid out. They've got the water table. Couldn't think of the word of that. And I'm just back here supervising them. You? And also, this is Spencer's Aqua Park. Ooh. It's filled with houses and trees. And many other decorations, mm. like towels, a water table, steps, a balcony, what's that? Yeah, so a, a little bit ago, I was trimming these trees. I didn't trim a bunch because we like the cover it gives between us and the house behind us. But there were some leaves that were like super low that basically like whacked you in the face. So I just trimmed those super low ones, but still we have a ton of tree cover, which is really, really nice. But anyway, it is the afternoon. We've had a busy day, which is why I haven't picked up the camera till now, except for that clip that I got in the doctor's office. So today Grayson had his five year checkup and it went really well. It's a little delayed from when he turned five, five years old. As you all know, he turned five April 11th and it's the last day of May, May 31st. And the reason it was delayed so much is because when COVID happened, they closed all the doctor's offices. And so we couldn't get him an appointment. He was like three at the time, I think. We couldn't get him an appointment until they had could open back up their offices and they didn't open their office back up until May. And so now he can't go if it's been less than a year because the insurance won't cover it. So that's why we go so late in the year, which really isn't that late, but I feel like it's late. But anyway, we went to the doctor and it went really well. Gray did really well. They got his height. He's 43 inches. He gained like three inches. So he was, he grew a lot. And then weight, he gained a couple pounds as well. Um, I'll have to see if I have the percentiles. They haven't sent it to me yet. So that was good. They said he's growing great. He's in like 25th percentile for weight, I think. And then they checked his eyesight. They like put these glasses on where like one glass, one pair of glasses had like one eye covered and then the other one had the other eye covered. And then they had like him identify shapes, uh, big and small, see if like his vision was good and he got all the shapes right. They also do this weird thing where they put on like 3D glasses and then they hold up like two boards and then he has to see which one has a smiley face on it. He struggled with it last year, like could not understand what they were asking him, I guess. And then they did the same thing again today and he again struggled with it, but they didn't seem concerned about it. So I think they're just trying to get his depth perception or something like that. 
Anyway, he checked out on all that, and then we saw the doctor, and the doctor looked him over, looked in his ears, listened to his heart. It all sounded good, he said. Asked if I had any concerns, but I really don't. It's just like behavioral things with Grayson, things that probably all five-year-olds are going through. He's not, he doesn't listen all the time. Um, he likes to put a lot of objects in his mouth still. He gets really anxious over things not working or people not following the rules, so just little things like that, but it's not too much. But I had no concerns and he had no concerns. He asked Grayson if he could like hop up and down, stand on one foot, stand on the other foot. Um, you just like body motor functions like that asked if Grayson could identify letters, numbers, and shapes, which Grayson got all of those, so that was good. He's super smart. He did uppercase and lowercase letters, and Gray had no problem with that. Told Grayson to try to eat more foods that he's not comfortable with, because he is a pretty picky eater, but I did tell him that we make him do five Grayson bites, and he liked that. I'm a picky eater, but I'm gonna do five Grayson bites. Mm -hmm. Means you're very, you only like certain foods. He does fine with fruits, but like if it's a dish that I haven't made before, he doesn't really want to try it. And if it's um, vegetables, does not like them, which I don't blame him. I don't really like vegetables either, but, but right, they're good for you. But they're good for you, right? They're good for me. Yeah, so other so than that. That's a good replacement. Yeah, so other than that, the appointment went really well. It was super fast. It wasn't too long. Good job, Port. And they'll see him in a year, so he just goes yearly. And he didn't have to get any shots. He got shots last time, like his kindergarten shots. Didn't get shots this time, and they said he won't get shots again until he's 11. So that's pretty good. Not that he really cared. Like, he always does fine with shots. He never cries, so he's my easy one. But super glad that I got that done. I'm actually going tomorrow back to the doctor for Avery's two month old appointment. Didn't realize I scheduled them back to back like that, but it's too late now to change it. So whatever, doing that. Thankfully, Anthony was home. So we watched, he was here while Porter took a nap and then my mom took Avery for me. So I could just go with Gray. It was a hot mess. And now we're just hanging out in the backyard. backyard. Chilling, we don't really have much else going on today. So, we are playing out in the backyard. Yeah, we need to do bath night because the boys are so gross and dirty. dirty. Gray got super messy yesterday at his baseball practice. He kept playing in the dirt, wasn't listening to us. It was a hot mess. Can you fix the bubble gun, Gray? And um, so, yeah, I definitely, we, ha we had him go in the shower really quick before bed, but we didn't wash like hair or anything like that. So we need to do like a full on bath tonight. Our uh, bubble blower isn't working. I need to get like a new one from Target. I swear bubble blowers last like a month and then they stop working. Or at least the cheap ones that I get. But yeah, so it was a really great appointment for Gray and no concerns on my side or on the doctor's side, which is good. And now it's just back to Avery appointments. Um, like I said, she'll go tomorrow. We'll get updates on her stats, how big she is. And then she, after this one, she'll go every two months to the doctor. So that'll be at least a little less time there. Just cause it's a lot to like figure out childcare or bring the kids with me. I'll probably end up bringing Porter with me tomorrow, but not Grayson. It's just, it's a lot. So, but other than that, we're just enjoying summer. So I don't know if I'll make this like a two day vlog or a one day vlog or anything like that. Grayson has his first baseball game on Saturday so we're excited for that it's also picture day so I need to like wash his hat because it's so dirty because all he does is play in the dirt oh he got me so mad yesterday he could not stop playing in the dirt like you know at baseball like they have that red, like brown red dirt that the whole field is covered in and he cannot stop playing in it now he's not the only one playing in it but he was playing in it the most out of everyone and he was frustrating me so much because I would look at him I would tell him gray stop playing in the dirt and he would stop for about five seconds and then just go right back into the dirt and it was so much that his coach kept calling his name like Grayson stand up Grayson get the ball Grayson Grayson and Gray was just like ignoring him ignoring everyone I don't know that's not usually like him so I don't know what was up with him I think he's just super tired yesterday but hopefully the game goes better because that was not one of the best practices we had. Porter had a great time because he just played on the playground. There's a playground right next to the baseball field. And so play, Porter just played in the playground with Anthony the whole time. So he had a great time. <laughs> Everyone else, Avery was crying. I was frustrated with Grayson. Grayson was listening. It was just, 
yeah it was one of those days yesterday it was it was not a good day i was super tired oh that's what i did yesterday i signed grayson up for swim lessons so i usually do these in the summer not really year round because they're expensive but i do them in the summer we're gonna go on a cruise at the end of the summer i'd like him to learn more about swimming and eventually be able to swim on his own last year i sent him to like this private place and it was just ridiculous amounts of money because you have to pay a membership fee and then a monthly fee our local rec center also does swim lessons they're not as frequent or availability as like the private place but this summer it just works out with our schedule that we could do the one that i signed him up for so he's gonna go tuesdays and thursdays just for the month of june so it's like eight classes total and it was only a hundred bucks so it really wasn't too bad and so he's gonna go and learn more about swimming. We'll see how much he's retained in a year because he hasn't done swimming lessons since August of last year. So we'll see how he does this year. But yeah, I did get an assignment for that. I was super pumped. Although I did have to wake up at 6 a.m. because that's when the signups opened. And you either you get on right at 6 a.m. and get a spot or you're like five minutes late and you're already lost and you don't get a spot. So it's like very competitive because there's only like four spots in each class and they only offer like four classes. So what? Four times four, 16. So there's only 16 spots total. So it's really not a lot. But I'm happy I got him in on that. This is Anthony's last week before he goes on paternity leave for another three weeks. So he did, th he gets six weeks total. He did three weeks when Avery was born and then he's been back at work for a month and now he's taking his last three weeks. He can split it up once within like a six month period. So he's taking his next three weeks um, for June, which I'm so, so excited about because he'll help me get great swim lessons. We'll be able to go to the parks. We won't have to like wait for him to get off of work and um, Grayson's got baseball games like every couple days. So it'll just be a lot of help with him being off of work. So I'm very excited about that. I know he's excited to have another break. So I'm looking forward to that. Just like more family bonding, which can't get enough family bonding. Hopefully we don't kill each other by the end. We did pretty good the first three weeks. So I feel like we'll do good again the next three weeks. Anyway, I will pick up the camera if the kids do anything more that's cute <laughs> I don't know I'm just gonna sit here on my bench and drink my water and just enjoy the nice weather Avery is up in her crib taking a nap right now so pretty nice it's, I don't have to do too much just keep an eye on the kids